Hey guys, I've been updating my Macs today to 15.1 on my Mac Pro trash can 6 comma 1 and my Mac Pro 5 comma 1. And instead of creating a whole installer on a USB thumb drive, I'm just going to download Sequoia 15.1 from the OpenCore Legacy Patcher app. And then once you do that, you can quit the app and just run the installer. Sometimes when you download these installers through system preferences in Apple, so many people are downloading it at the same time, it just gets stuck and you're sitting there waiting for a couple of hours and it just never progresses. So you reboot, you gotta do it again. So I find that I just prefer to download the updates from OpenCore Legacy Patcher. And that way you also know that Open OpenCore Legacy Patcher is compatible with the new OS release. If it's not showing up in the OS downloads in the OpenCore Legacy app, that means they are not ready for you to be using the latest version of Mac OS with OpenCore Legacy Patcher. So it's a safer way to update Mac OS within OpenCore Legacy Patcher once you already have OpenCore Legacy Patcher installed. It will let you know if you need to update OpenCore Legacy Patcher and if the Mac OS installer is not in the list there, that means they're not ready for you to install it. So once the installer is done downloading, you can quit OpenCore Legacy Patcher and you can just run the installer from your applications folder because you already have OpenCore Legacy Patcher installed. OpenCore Legacy Patcher may pop up with a window and say, hey, you're installing a new version of Mac OS and we need to patch that. And sometimes it will patch it and other times it might not. And here's an example after I installed 15.1 on my Mac Pro 5 comma 1 I was going through the usual prompts and you can see that I've got a plain white background there's no wallpaper and the graphics are very glitchy and that's because OpenCore Legacy Patcher needs to put the KDK package in it needs to update the patches so after I'm done logging in here we have to install the post patches if everything's working fine, it will say in OpenCore Legacy Patcher, you have already installed the post patches. But here on my Mac Pro 5 comma 1, it had not installed the KDK package, which is for the graphics, and it didn't install the post patches. So you can see my desktop is just white, and I need to install this stuff. And OpenCore came up with a message saying that I am not patched. So we just run the post patches, and then everything will be good after the next reboot. So don't panic if you install an update and your graphics are laggy. You just have to install the post patches. Then we reboot and everything should be good. And so far I have seen that 15.1 uh, seems to run really well on both my Mac Pro 5 comma 1, which has an RX 580 in it, and my Mac Pro 6 comma 1, which has D500s in it. The very latest screensaver, all the other ones work, but this one, the Macintosh dynamic wallpaper and screensaver with all the retro Apple stuff gets stuck if you have it set to be the dynamic wallpaper and the screensaver. So you see I'm trying to invoke it to get it to go with putting my mouse up in the corner. That's where I have a hotkey set to start the screensaver and it just doesn't start. But I found if you just use a different wallpaper, it can still be a dynamic one, then you can use the new retro Macintosh screensaver and it works just fine. Okay, I hope that helped you out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, give me the thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next Mac Sound Solutions video.